Okay, folks, this is Steven. I just did my own plumbing underneath our sink in our kitchen. We added a garbage disposal and a dishwasher. And I'm gonna tell you what I did. It took me a ton of time. When you watch this video, if you're in Wisconsin, it is March 2022. Hopefully this saves you a ton of time. And here's a bunch of information. Okay, here we go. We have our hot water line here on the left, our cold water line over there on the right. I tried to put some of that pipe insulation around there to help it out a little bit. The plumbing inspector said that this half inch water line that I'm showing you with my finger here, that's, that's half inch. Going this way, like where that braided steel cable is back there, it's right there, it's going horizontal. That's three eighths, that's the supply line to your dishwasher, okay? You gotta get the supply line to connect by its own connection off the half inch supply here, okay? So you have to tee it in there. I get, that's a little push connector. Those are super easy, they cost about 10 bucks. Then we had to have a water arrester, which is this thing here, it cost about another 10 bucks. Then we had to have a shutoff valve right there, which cost about six or seven bucks, okay? That is code here in Wisconsin, March 2022, okay? So I soldered that, you could get, uh, but the, the big thing to know is that this line up here, going up and down is half inch. And going over here to your dishwasher, that braided line is three eighths. So make sure that you get the right adapters, males and females, okay? Um, next, our dishwasher uh, waste line uh, is this white thing that's coming out. It's going around and doing a circle and it goes up to that thing up there on the right. That's called an air gap, okay? That's the cheapest way for us to do it. We're in a budget house, so it goes up there and then it comes down in this uh, gray hose, this black hose here, okay? You gotta get these hose clamps, guys, on both sides, okay? They cost about a buck a piece, so we got one there, and then there's there's two pipes coming off this top guy right there on, underneath the sink, so we got a, two more clamps on each side of that. And, um, and this rubber hose is super hard to find, oh, it's not really hard to, to find, but a lot of them, the stores were super, super stiff. So you might need to shop around to find, one, to find one that's flexible enough so that it doesn't kink in the hose when you bend it. I had to cut mine down with the scissors here to get it to go nicely into that thing, okay? Um, next, my garbage or my uh, main drain line here was a uh, old cast iron. So I cut it with a uh, Ryobi grinder. I just ground it off. And then I put one of these couplings on there. This is like half, this is like two inch to inch and a half or something. And then I bought this, this little drain kit here from Menards for like five bucks. I had to buy an extra extension to get it up higher to my garbage disposal uh, drain. Had to cut some pieces down and then fit all that stuff together to get this to go, okay? So um, also my dishwasher draws 12 amps when we're using it. And this garbage disposable draws 4.5 amps. That's 16.5 amps total if we're using both concurrently. There's my 20 amp circuit that I pulled up here, okay? And I might be half an amp over. I think you're only allowed to use 80% of a circuit, and I don't know if these things are considered continuous loads or not. I do not know that, but right now, it's 16.5 amps if they're both running at the same time on a 20 amp circuit. Um, also, one other tip. When you are uh, putting up your uh, your little soap dispenser thing there, we got that for like 10 or 15 bucks, just uh, get some clear vinyl tubing, run it right down here to a plastic, uh, you know, just some Ajax or something, and then you just pump it and it pumps it right out of the thing there, and then I put a little hole in here for air to come in, right, so that it flows really, really, really nicely, and also, um, the, the electrical inspector will probably have me secure this MC cable here that, that's, that's going up and down. That means it needs to be secured within 12 inches of the box there. So I might have to put some little blocking in here and then uh, staple that to the little blocking. And the last question you guys are probably wondering is my air switch, right? To turn on my garbage disposal is right down there. We're probably just gonna get a wireless one. So we'll plug in the Wi-Fi outlet uh, right up there at on the garbage disposal air switch and then we'll have a little button up here that's that we just press and then it operates our, our garbage disposal for us. Anyway, I took a ton of time to do this. I went back to the store a ton of, ton of times. I hope this is helpful to you guys. Good luck. You can do it. 
Plumbing 101, let's do this.